Okay, y'all, tonight for dinner, we're making crock pot Salisbury steak meatballs. The first thing we're going to add to the crock pot is two cups of beef stock. Now, I just had a tiny bit left in the container, so I just added everything I had. But you want at least two cups. Then a packet of mushroom gravy mix. A packet of beefy Lipton onion soup mix. A large heaping tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I literally had to scrape everything out of the jar because I was out. Then a large squirt of ketchup, probably about a quarter of a cup, and then Worcestershire sauce. After the Worcestershire sauce, you're going to add some red pepper flakes, some onion powder, garlic powder, a big spoonful of chopped garlic, you know, garlic, a heaping teaspoon of tomato paste, and then two tablespoons of butter. Somehow, I don't have it on video of the tomato paste, but it's in there. Mix that all really, really well, and then add your sliced Vidalia onion. I used a large half an onion instead of a whole one, but you just do as much onion as you want. Now it's time to add the meatballs, and these are just home-style Meatballs from the frozen section at the supermarket. To be honest, I don't even remember what brand they were. They were the ones on sale brand. That's what brand they were. But they were beef home style. That part I remember. Once the meatballs are added, give it a little toss to make sure everything's coated in the gravy mix that you just made. Get the lid on it and get it cooking on low three to four hours. When you're ready to eat, you're going to take some cool water, about a quarter of a cup, and add a tablespoon of cornstarch. Give that a good mix up till the cornstarch is all dissolved and add that directly to your meatballs and gravy. Once you've added your cornstarch slurry, then give it a little stir, put the lid on it, and let it come back up to a simmer. Once it's back up to a simmer, it will be at its full thickness and it'll be ready to go. The very last thing is add salt and pepper to taste. While your meatballs are coming back up to a simmer, now it's the perfect time to make your mashed potatoes. To make these mashed potatoes, I just used microwaved uh, baby potatoes. I throw them in the microwave. They take like eight minutes. I add butter and some cream cheese to it. Give them a good smash till they're good and mixed up. Then I add some Lowry seasoning salt and a splash of milk until they get a little creamy. And that's to it. To serve these up, all you have to do is grab your plate, put a healthy serving of those mashed potatoes in the center of it, and make a little well. Then you're just going to spoon the meatballs and gravy into your little well, and that's it. You're good to go. This is absolutely delicious. I myself will definitely be making this again. Um, the fact that you could put this whole meal together for about $16, I thought was great, and I think this will be a family favorite. Y'all keep in touch and let me know if you tried it.